Say man, hey man, we are back with another NBA 2K22 current gen build video. And today I have a special sharpshooting rebounding win for you guys. When I first started playing, well not first started playing, <laughs> a couple years ago, I had a rebounding win. I think it was NBA 2K20. Um, I had a rebounding win, man, and that build was crazy. And this build kind of reminded me of that build. And we do have Hall of Fame shooting, we have great defense, playmaking on this build, and you still can finish. So let's go ahead and put the build that small for it, right? Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. And as you can see, we are using the power chart that has the most shooting, okay? The defense has a big, big part of the power chart, and the playmaking and finishing is small, but we're going to stress that playmaking now to get a lot of playmaking badges. But the main thing I want to focus on is the defense and the shooting, okay? For the take, I mean for the takeovers, for the physical profile, you can choose whatever you want to choose on this. Uh, me personally, if it was my build, I would go with the speed. Most people probably want to go with the balance, but I like speed, so I'm going to go with the speed. Now, we're going to start with the finishing on this build, and the finishing is not all that. You know, I, I didn't put any emphasis on the finishing because of the defense and the shooting and also the playmaking. So what we did was just took the driving layup and the um, driving dunk to um, the max, right? 70 driving dunk, 67 driving layup, simple. Nothing major about that. But we're gonna get into the green bean, make your girl scream badge. Now this is where the build starts to take its shape, right? We're gonna take the mid-range shot to an 85. Three-point shot is an 84. Free throw is a 91. If you try to go the other route and add post fade, you're gonna lose some badges, so we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna take the free throw up until we get 20 badges. So we got 20 badges on the shooting and Hall of Fame shooting is what you need and we have enough badges to use them. But let's go ahead and get it to the top. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody need mama can see this video. And I need everybody need mama to see the video. So do that for you, boy, boy. Now on the ball handle, we're going to max that out. Speed with ball, we're going to max that out. I mean, not speed with ball, but pass actually, we're going to max that out. And the post control, same thing. So we have a 75 pass accuracy, a 68 ball handle, and a 63 on the playmaking. So far, so good with the playmaking as well. But let's go ahead and get into the defense. Since this is a rebounding wing, we're going to start from the bottom up on the defense and take the defense rebound to a 77, offense rebound 68, block is a 70, steal is an 80, lateral quickness 81, perimeter defense 80, and put the rest on the interior defense even though you only need a 51 to get 20 uh defensive rebounded badge let me show you guys the max you can get is 20 so if i take that all the way up you don't get anything extra so we're going to take it down and we're just going to do it like that so that's a combination that we have man 20 10 20 and 1. not a bad build at all if you ask me man the bill has everything you need when it comes down to it so that's what we have now for the uh, body shape, you can choose whatever body shape you want to choose. That's totally up to you, but I'm just going to leave it like this, okay? For the height, of course, we, want, we are going with six foot eight on the height. And as you can see, you get some minuses on the driving layup, driving dunk, uh, the three-point shooting, the ball handle. You get a lot of minuses, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to try to get all of that back. Now for the weight on this bill, me personally, I'm going to take it all the way down to 185 pounds to get all the speed that we need in order to be a great bill. And that's what we have right there. So for the wingspan, you can do this more than one way, man. I, I don't know how you like to play. I don't know what you look for in a bill. I don't know what categories you want the pluses in. So I'm, this is going to be a personal preference. You can leave it right here if you want to. You can take it up one and give you an 83-point shot. Or you can max it out and give you a 77 three-point shot, a 72 driving dunk. Uh, 86 on the defensive rebound. And once you get to 99, just think all this stuff, stuff will be a plus four. So whatever you lose on the shooting, which is a minus four right now, you're gonna get that back at 99. So uh, you can go that route, or you can do it like this and have an 85 three-point shot at 99. Now, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. But we're gonna go ahead and max it out, man. Uh, monkey on wingspan on this build. And this is the finished product until you get to a 99. So for the takeovers, we have rebounding, defense, um, sharp shooting, and playmaking. I'm gonna choose the defense. You can choose what you want to, that's totally up to you, but are you ready? Because I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, we do have a rebounder win. We got Danny Granger, Dylan Brooks, and Gordon Hayward. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and test this bill out right quick, and I can get you guys out of here like last year. So, um, 99, let's get the bill to a 99, okay? 
For the finishing, we only have one. We're just going to choose something for that. Don't matter. For the shooting, this is what I like to use on my shooting, man. I got 20 shooting badges. So, what I like to Oh, catch the shoot Hall of Fame, Sniper Hall of Fame, uh, Gold on, on Blinders, Gold on Corner, Gold on Hot Zone Hunter, Gold on Dead Eye. And that's what I like to use right there, man. So, that's what we're going with for the shooting on this build. For the uh, playmaking, we get 10. So, I would go with Space Creator, Quick First Step, uh, let's go with Unpluggable, Tight Handles, Bullet Passer, Downhill, Anchor Breaker, Hyper Drive, Handle for Days. And we got one left. So, we'll go with uh, Quick First Step on Silver. So, this is the combination that I would use on the Playmaker. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, man. You may want to do something else. I don't know. That's totally up to you, man. But, you know, to have 10 playmaker bags on the rebounder wing, man, I think you're doing really good. When I made my rebounder wing, I think I had um, lower, um, a lower amount of playmaker bags than this. You know what I'm saying? It was really based on the defense and the shooting for the rebounder wing that I had in NBA 2K20. So, you know, this build is way better in my opinion, okay? So, for the defense... We have 20 defensive bad and that's perfect in my opinion. So we'll go gold rebound chaser, gold rim protector, gold box. Um, let's see. Um, do we want clamps in there? We may throw clamps on Brian. Pickpocket, intercept, the chase down, intimidate the pogo. Okay, we got five left. So let's go ahead. One, hold on. One, two, three, four. That's four right there. Mm. I think these badges are important right here. Uh, intercept and in, 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 um, in pickpocket, they're okay badges, but I don't think they work as good as they should. I know they work really good on um, on um, next gen. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go with Gold Intimidator, Gold Pogo. And I really want this Chase Down artist on Gold. You know what I'm saying? But this right here is a personal preference. Me personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would go, I would go right here, man. I would go right there with the chase down artist on gold. And on this right here, I would probably go with the interceptor on bronze. Just for the hell of it, man. Just throw clamps in there just for the hell of it, too. So you can at least slow somebody down on the perimeter. But your bread and butter for this build will be the rear protect, the rebound chaser, pogo, intimidator, chase down artist, the box. Because you will be playing in the paint. You're not going to be on the perimeter uh, uh, as much as you should. But, you know, if you do, you have clamps to slow people down right there. You know what I'm saying? But. That's the bill. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Love those that love you. And I'm out of here. Like last year, y'all.